Hello, welcome back to a new video and let's talk a little bit about technical analysis. Uh, we haven't done that for a while because usually I try to keep it separate for our subscribed members because there's a lot that has to be considered when making analysis of price action charts. You can see here this is our um, module here and this is our module structure from our swing trading class. You can see we have a lot of videos in here. so. It is very hard to just make a video and explain how to analyze a chart because a lot of has to go into it. But today I want to start with the basics of chart reading. How do you start when you don't know anything or even when you are a little bit more advanced? What are the important things that a chart can tell you? And although it does sound a little bit simplistic for many traders, if you pay attention and if you really understand what I will um, tell you now, this will transform the way you look at charts forever. So the basic structure of any chart is made up of trend waves, has nothing to do with Elliott waves or Wolf waves or whatever wave principle um, that comes to mind. Wave analysis is flexible, it is independent, and it always changes with the market structure. So we don't count trend waves, we don't look at certain ratios. We just want to analyze, is the market pushing higher? Is the market pushing lower? How strong is the market pushing higher? Is the trend accelerating? Is the trend losing momentum? Who is on control? Are the buyers in control? Are the sellers in control? Are we looking or moving towards an equilibrium? And are the powers shifting or not? So let's start here on the left-hand side. And for anybody who is saying, oh, you can only analyze the left-hand side, this is how you do technical analysis if you want to get better. You have to understand the, the principles first. You can only understand the principles. You can only explain market theory and technical analysis when we look at the right. And once we have an understanding how uh, on the left, and once we have an understanding how we do analysis on the left-hand side, then we can move forward to our right-hand side and make actual trading decisions and understand the live markets. So... Here we start on the left hand side, you can see a clear trend structure, the Dow theory is very well respected, the trend makes higher highs and higher lows until this point here. You can see something is changing here in the market um, direction or in the market sentiment, whereas here the price was previously always quite easily able to push higher, here the market has reached the top. We form a triple top, which means that, okay, the buyers are not really that strong anymore. Something is changing here. And then afterwards, you can see not only does the price fail to make a new high, but at this point here, the market also makes a new low, the first lower low in this price or in this trend scenario. And you can see afterwards, uh, we start a completely new trend direction. We go from higher highs and higher lows to lower highs and lower lows. The price does not move that smooth here all the time. But you can see how we respect the previous swing structure. We then make again lower lows and lower highs until this point. We have a double bottom, which means that, okay, at this point, the, the bulls or the sellers in this case, they were not able to continue the trend to the downside. The buyer stepped in here a little bit, drove the price here pre, uh, through the previous swing high and then started this little short term uptrend. It is not very strong. You can see the trend is not very um, accelerating quite strongly. The trend is not moving up in a significant way. If we compare to what has happened here, uh, the trend does look very different, much weaker. And then here, once the market fails to make a higher high, here you can see we make a lower high, and then we make a lower low, then the dynamics shift, and we start a new trend to the downside. This pattern will repeat itself over and over again, any time frame, any market, whether you trade Forex, stocks, futures, CFDs, commodities, you will always find this. This is the principle of Dow theory, which has been active and has been respected for decades in the international financial markets. You can see once the market breaks this, um, this rule or this pattern, then a new trend often emerges. And that is then how you can build a very solid foundation or on your technical analysis skills, it is a very good starting point. So I really recommend start looking at swing highs and lows. How strong is the market pushing into a direction? Are the buyers or the sellers in control? And if you want to take this then to the next level, we have a complete um, trading course here for you prepared. You learn first the foundation of chart analysis. We look at trend lines. We look at supply and demand as well. We look at reversal structures and trend structures. We look at how to analyze the market, how to 
choose the right markets for your trade, how to time the entries with our different entry patterns. You learn how to re-enter positions where the trade maybe did not work out or you missed the first trade. You look at how to place a stop, how to cut a losing trade, how to manage a trade, how to set targets. And basically that's a complete A to Z, uh, A to Z trading education that you will get here along with my weekly setups. Every week I upload a new video with the new setups for the current uh, for the next week and uh, in the forum you can also interact with me we talk about current trades and current setups and that's then how you can build a very solid foundation so i really hope you enjoyed that really use this market uh, knowledge that i gave you use this principle to start looking at charts maybe a little bit differently understand who is driving the market who is in control are the powers shifting or not and then you will be able to pick up little nuances along the way your chart analysis will transform significantly and i'm sure you will see a huge jump in how you look at charts i hope you enjoyed this make sure to leave a comment or a thumbs up if you did and i will see you in the next video